Hey guys, I'm Dan and today I have over 50 different wow animals and sea animal figurines inside the box. Check this out, okay? It's right over here and we have a pack of new figures sent to us by a Dan Safarian. So let's get right into it. Okay guys, so let's begin. Let's take a look at this pack sent to us by a fan. Yeah, he, he loves to send us figurines for us to, um, you know, review. So we have a kangaroo right over here. And you can see there's like a baby Joey inside the pouch. A very beautiful animal figurine, I must say. Okay, it looks very realistic. And here we have, what is this? I think this is a South African penguin. Let's, let me take a look. Not exactly very sure. Um, yeah, I think it should be a um, African penguin, if I'm not wrong. The name is not written below. And here we have a beautiful hippopotamus. Okay, hippopotamus. This is um, actually a vintage figure, a 1996 um, hippopotamus figure. Let's take a look at some sea animals first, okay? Because, you know, we have lots of sea animals today. And this one right here is actually a blue spotted ray. I really like this a lot. Um, it is a really beautiful figure. We also have a California sea lion, I think. Yeah, a sea lion right over here. Let's pick up another wild animal from the back. We have a panda. Seems like our panda collection is um expanding very, very well. Okay, really beautiful panda. This seems to be quite a young panda. Next, another hippopotamus. Wow, seems like we have a huge collection of um, hippo hippos right now. So, yep, this is a 2007 figure. Yep. Quite an old figure, very nice, very vintage looking, very classic looking. And I love the detailing on the, um, the figures from Peppo, they are amazing. Let's see, let's take a look at another sea animal. Um, this one is actually a frogfish, a beautiful frogfish, um, which is um, released. I think this figure is quite a new one, I can't really see the date. Yeah, but it's a really nice frogfish. You guys do that frogfish, they can actually use their fins to walk on the ocean seafloor, which is kind of cool. All right, next we have a beluga whale right over here. Beluga whales, they can actually use echolocation to help them find a way um, in the ocean seafloor. Next, let's take a look at this. What do we have? Um, Another huge... Hippopotamus and this one with the mouth wide open, you can see, you know, the amazing teeth. They have a huge bite for us, if you guys do not know, they can crush a watermelon like very, very easily. This is a 2007 figure, very nice, seems like, you know, um, we have quite a number of hippos in today's video. Another one, nice, another hippo, okay, a 2014 hippo figure, very, very beautiful. Let's see, what else we've got? Oh, we have a new one. A new little panda cup, I think. Let's open this up. Okay, this is a very, very adorable looking um, um, panda bear, as you guys can see. Super adorable. Very young panda bear. We have a pack of um, 3D puzzles, I think. So let's see. Let's get the items out. Okay. Seems like we have a... Spotted seal. Let's fix this. Okay, you need to flip in um, the flippers as well. There you go. And another one of the. Um, I mean, that is the tail, and this is the flipper. So a very beautiful looking spotted seal. Or oh, this is a hop seal. I can't really tell. Next, we actually have a rock hopper penguin. A really, really beautiful. Um, 3D puzzle. I think this is from 4D Master if I'm not wrong. They make a really good quality 3D um, figures. Rockhopper Penguin, really beautiful one. Okay, so that is the end of the, um, the, the package. So let's take a look at the other sea animals in the box. We have an octopus. Octopus, they are extremely intelligent. This figure of mine is actually quite old. Um, yeah, they're extremely intelligent. They can actually camouflage themselves by changing the colors. They can change their body shape. They can even change the texture of the skin to make themselves look like a rock. Yeah, pretty incredible. Moray eels. Okay, I've actually seen them before in uh, my local sea aquarium park. So I've seen two moray eels. They were so huge. Such thickness. This is like, you know, the width of this body. So big. 
and they were like hiding in um cracks like stone cracks and um they hide in reefs as well yeah very very beautiful um sea creatures i'm gonna say next we have a blue crab okay weedy sea dragon during my trip to the local sea aquarium i also saw a bunch of um weedy sea dragons they are really beautiful they look like seahorses but they are much more colorful than um them okay here we have a um pilot wheel a 2013 figure i like this figure a lot because it has a very shiny surface you guys know that pilot wheel they are known as pilot wheel because they actually swim in pots pots are basically like you know groups of um wheels and there's a leader they will always follow the leader and the leader is known as the pilot which is why they're known as pilot wheel this one right here is actually one of my very favorite um prehistoric animals okay this is not exactly a prehistoric animal this is a horse shoe crab you can still find them um nowadays you can still find them you can still find them on beaches but they actually existed like millions of years ago you know in the times when where um dinosaurs existed they already existed so very incredible they are like living fossils yeah next we have a hermit crab this shell right here doesn't belong to the hermit crab they were basically they they are, they are basically shellless they don't have a shell and the back body is actually very very soft so they need to look for shells to hide themselves to protect their body and they will usually find shells left over by other sea animals with a goliath grouper right here okay a huge fish this is a um harm this is no this is actually a gray whale okay and all these little things are actually known as barnacles these barnacles will actually grow on the um, you know the whale bodies they will also grow on ships grow on the decks of the ships the the hull of the ships they don't really harm harm the whales yep they don't really harm the whales but they do make you know the whales uncomfortable so sometimes the whales they do rub the body against like the ships to get rid of the barnacles and right here we have a baby sea turtle i have a very similar figure okay i think they look very, very similar but this is actually a cam's ridley sea turtle and this one is more like a you know a generic sea turtle like i would say uh, i don't know the, the, the species but yeah this one is a humpback whale we can easily recognize this by you know the little bumps on his body okay mega moth shark one of the very rare sharks that you can find they look kind of um intimidating they can only be found like really deep in the um ocean water this is actually known as a king crab it looks like a spider crab but it is written as a king crab um they have um very long legs as you guys can see and their legs and their bodies are actually fit with like thorns which um serve as a protective weapon against predators i suppose sawfish you can they actually use this saw tool um as a tool to capture fish and if you take a look at this um this is a, a 1994 figure which is very very old 1994 i think it's like yeah close to like 30 years back wow pretty cool we have a shot fin mako shot right here okay nice shot a basking shot with the mouth wide open they may look very very intimidating they look very scary but they are actually pretty harmless towards humans they only um feed on like little streams and crew yeah they're basically they are filter feeders basically this is a real squid i think many of you guys have already seen this figure before i really love this figure because it is like soft and rubbery and um, you can actually like slightly see through um, the body which is very very cool lobster i have a i have many lobster figures guys um i have a huge lobster figure i also have a huge spiny lobster figure i didn't bring them today but you know next time i'm gonna show you show it to you guys this is a tiger shark very beautiful one as well this one right here is an emperor penguin with his cheek right below this is a very very beautiful um, figure you can see it is painted with a shiny paint yeah very nice and emperor penguins they are the largest species of penguins around in case that you guys do not know 
Koi-fish. Do you know, you guys know that in uh, my country, which is Singapore, um, there are plenty of wild otters. And this wild otters actually travel around the island. You know, they will break into people's home and they will actually eat um, the koi fish that people keep, you know, as pets. They basically just eat the head. They would just discard the body, which is kind of, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's really unbelievable. And yeah, koi fish, some of them can grow up to like 100 to even 200 years old. Yeah, so you really want to look after them well. So this is um, a sand tiger shark. They may look very, very intimidating, but they are actually quite harmless. They don't really attack humans. Um, this is a bull shark. They are, they are actually the most recorded attacks on humans by a bull shark than a great white shark. So apparently they are like the most dangerous type of sharks around. Great white. I think many of you guys should be very familiar with the um, great white sharks. The great white shark is actually one of my most favorite sea animals. This is a large mouth bass, as you guys can see, the mouth is like so wide, okay? Let's see, what else we got? We have a stingray, okay? So you can see there's a sting right here. This sting is actually quite, quite deadly, okay? There was actually a um, famous zookeeper, should I say a zookeeper? No, an, an anime expert that was actually killed by a stingray. And um, another beluga whale. Polar bear cup, really adorable one. Do you guys know that polar bears they are actually black in color? Their skin is actually black in color, but the fur is actually like, you know, I wouldn't say white because they are slightly translucent. So they have a covering of like, you know, white fur. But once you flip, I mean, once you lift the fur up, you're actually able to see the skin color, which is black in color. Kind of cool. This is a um, bow hat wheel, okay? Let's see what else we've got. Whale shark, a filter feeder. I've actually swam with whale sharks before. They are very gentle. They are very docile. They are filter feeders. They feed on small little crew. Yep. This it's a shark ray. Okay. Let's see what else we've got. This one it's a um, blue whale. A nice one. And this it's a mink whale. Okay. Okar. Okar, it's basically like known as the killer whale. They are the apex predator of the sea. They can attack sharks, they can attack whales, they can even take down whales that are much bigger than them. Okay, they are very, very aggressive. Not aggressive, they're very intelligent dolphins. Yes, they are actually dolphins. This is um, a leopard shark. Leopard sharks and zebra sharks, they are basically the same type of sharks, just that the patterns will change, you know, along the years. Okay. So yeah, it's okay to call them zebra sharks, it's okay to call them leopard sharks. This is a megalodon, yes, it's written as a megalodon, although it looks like a great white. So megalodons are basically like prehistoric sharks that are about 10 times the size of a modern day sharks. So I've basically shown you guys like 50 different wild animals and um, sea animals. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yeah. I'll be coming up with more videos in the next few days, probably another one tomorrow where I will make a um, reptiles video, okay? So stay tuned. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.